YouTube, welcome back to a new video. This right here is part 11 of the series. And this right here, we are finally here in Blender. So, if you guys don't have it, uh, it's completely free. Just go ahead and look it up and download it. I mean, uh, we spent 10 parts explaining Photoshop. I'm pretty sure most of you guys have been waiting for me to actually get into Blender right here so yeah to start off let's go over some basic navigation all right now on your mouse on your scroll wheel uh, you want to click down and using that you can rotate around your scene all right and while doing that if you hold shift now you can pan around your scene and just using the scroll wheel you can zoom in and out just like that so that's the basic navigation um, we have a cube right here. This right here is the default scene. So up here, you see your camera, the cube, and you have the light, right? So light, and over here, this is the mode we're in right now. This is mainly used to model. The second one is called material preview mode. Uh, it uses when you are texturing. Third one is rendering. So this one has the uh, lighting enabled and stuff like that. So this one is wireframe. And this one is basically the wireframe mode, which is also used for modeling. So let's go into render mode right here. And I'm just gonna walk you guys through some basic settings. So we have a light object ready right here. All right, so let's go into our render properties. This, uh, this button right here, the render engine we're using is called Eevee. Uh, most people use cycles. Eevee is the real time engine on, on blender what that means is it renders in real time so if we go to cycles right you can see how it is significantly slower cycles is used for much more in detail uh, renders and EVs uh, used for you know stuff like animations um, super super quick renders and uh, results so let's turn on some basic Settings right here, we got ambient occlusion, we got bloom and screen space reflections. Turn these three on. Now let's add a floor. So let's hit shift A. Let's go to mesh right here and I'm gonna hit plane. All right, this is gonna add a plane to our scene. So you wanna hit G on your keyboard and you also wanna hit Z. And what this does is it basically locks the movement to uh, the Z axis right here. So and now we're gonna hit S on our keyboard and this will activate scaling. So we're gonna scale this all the way up as you can see all right so here we are we have our cube and and a plane right we have our shadow so in ambience occlusion right here let's go ahead and let's increase the distance and the factor to 1.3 now let's add some color to our cube let's click on our cube and let's go to material properties right here click on base color I'm also gonna do the same for the little floor. So I'm gonna hit new base color. I like this right here. So I'm gonna keep it down. We got specular, which you can't really see, but I'm gonna show you right here. Uh, specular, that's metallic as well, and roughness. There we go. As you can see, this is EV. It is super super quick. Uh, we change over to cycles. You can see it is much much slower but the quality is significantly higher so this is part one um soon we're gonna get into importing your character and uh some things we could do all right guys that's going to be it for this part right here uh stay tuned for the next one i am trying to make these as uh frequent as possible because you know i don't want to keep you guys hanging you know and waiting for the next part so i'm trying to get these out relatively quickly so yeah, if you enjoyed this part, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, leave me any feedback in the comments below, and yeah, I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace.